Alrighty, so today I'm going to try to put a pocket clip on this Buck 110 knife. This is the drop point blade configuration, a web exclusive on Buck's website. Just an ordinary or the standard 420 HD steel, but I really like the drop point shape. Um, I've, been, I've been using this knife pretty, pretty often. I just love the Buck 110. It just looks so good. A lot of tradition, love the brass, and I love the wood. And to be honest, I don't belt carry this knife, so I don't really use the leather sheath belt carry style very often, unless I'm going hunting or hiking. That's pretty much the only time. Um, and I don't like to just drop this knife in the pocket because it's just pretty darn heavy and it kind of just wobbles around and it'll feel weird in my pocket. So I've always wanted a Buck 110 with just a pocket clip attached to the brass bolster. I know Buck offers some modern takes on the 110 with pocket clips, but I've always just wanted a traditional Buck 110 with the brass bolsters and the wood with just a pocket clip. But they don't really, I don't think they've ever offered that. And if so, it was a limited run and you can't really get those. So I'm gonna try to put a pocket clip that I got off of Amazon. This is actually a Civivi knife pocket clip. They provide the screws and the pocket clip, so it's everything you need. This this one is actually in titanium, so pretty sturdy. And I wanted a very minimal minimalist pocket clip look. I didn't want anything too big or obtrusive, just to make it look simple. So hopefully it looks good. Basically, I'm just gonna drill. I'm gonna drill the brass and make some screw holes. Brass is pretty soft, a soft metal, so hopefully it goes pretty well. Alrighty, and this pocket clip, you get it for like $13 on Amazon, shipped to you in a couple days. So not bad. All right, let's see how it goes. So there's the first hole. Now I'm going to try to tap it. Alrighty, so here is the end result. I am super happy how it turned out. Just give you a quick look on that nice pocket clip. Titanium, very sleek looking. Yeah, the only thing I kind of made a mistake on was I did not drill deep enough for that first screw. So the hole, it just was not deep enough. So that screw, you can see there's a little bit of space between the brass and the pocket clip. But I learned my lesson and that second screw, I drilled a little deeper hole and that made it rock solid doesn't wiggle at all stays in place Let's see if you can yeah very nice I'm really happy how it turned out yeah and I think this pocket clip will let me carry the knife a whole lot more I think the days of belt carry are kind of in the past I know a lot of the younger crowd they don't generally belt carry um, this, that's my opinion, but I, I believe if Buck offered some of their just ordinary Buck 110 models with pocket clips, a nice sleek pocket, pocket clip like this, they would sell like hotcakes. And I think the younger crowd would be more inclined to buy a Buck 110 if it had a pocket clip. But that's just me. I know a lot of you like to belt carry and will prefer just the sleek Buck 110 maybe citing hot spots, but man, this thing is awesome. I think I'm gonna put the same pocket clip on one of my clip point Buck 110s because it's it's not that hard. It took me maybe 15 minutes to drill the hole, drill the holes and tap it for the screws. And that's pretty much it. 
Very nice. Really, really like it. Recommend. Alrighty. Alrighty, so I actually did end up doing it real quick on my clip point that had the quick thumb stud on it. Man, this thing looks really cool. Um, I mean, let's try to open it this way. One-handed, left-handed, a little difficult. But that pocket clip and thumb stud, a more modern take on the traditional Buck 110 wood and brass bolsters. Man, I, I think this pocket clip just changed the game for me. Definitely going to be carrying these Buck 110s a lot more for sure. With a good drop point and clip point. Man, look at that. Alrighty, now it is officially the end. See you guys.